ಸದಾಶಿವಸಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ಸುಖ ಸ್ವಪ್ರಕಾಶ ವ್ಯಾಪಕ ನಾಮ ಅಧಿಷ್ಠಾನ ಬುಧ್ಯಬೋಧ್ಯ ಬುಧೇರ್ದೃಗ್ಯಪ್ತು ನಿರ್ಮಲ ಅಪಾರಂ ಸರ್ವೇದೇದ್ಯ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ ಪರಂ ಮಹ ತದೇವಾಹಂ ನ ಮತ್ತೋನ್ಯಧಿತಿ ಮೇ ನಿಶ್ಚಿತ ಮತಿ ವಿಚಾರ ಸಾಗರ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಒನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ತಸ್ಮಕ್ಷೀರೇನಾಗಕೂರ್ಮಾಂಗತ ಪಂಚ ಪ್ರಾಣೀವ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮಶರೀರೆ ಗ್ರಹಣ ಯುಕ್ತ ಕಿಂಚ ಪ್ರಾಣೋ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ರಜೋಗುಣಸ್ಯ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ತಸ್ಮತ್ ಪಂಚಭೂತರಜೋಗುಣಾಂಶತ್ ಪ್ರಾಣೋತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ಕಥನ ಯುಕ್ತ ನಿಶ್ಚಲದಾಸ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೈನ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರಲ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಧ್ಯಾರೋಪ ಅಧ್ಯಾರೋಪ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಇಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಈವೆನ್ ದೋ ರಿಯಲ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನ್ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಲಿಟರಲ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಲಿಟ್ರಲ್ಲಿ there is no creation at all but for the sake of junior students in the beginning shastra introduce srishti in chandogya upanishad in taitri upanishad and many other upanishads also adhyaropa is introduced that means superimposition of the nama roopa upon brahman so matter evolve when matter means maya evolve when it associate with brahman plus maya ishvara come into existence ishvara play the role of creator srishti karta so these are all in the beginning level adhyaropa prakriya after a elaborate explanation of this uh, srishti sri karana prapancha was there karana shariram so were there in the potential form they are not created the jeevas are in karana shariram in potential form in karana prapancha at the time of creation alone the matter evolves into sukshma prapancha and sthula prapancha macro level then micro level sthula sukshma shariram comes first then sthula shariram comes later we have seen that karana shariram and we have seeing the sukshma shariram now in that sukshma shariram there are 19 faculties one faculty that pancha pranas are discussed in this 268th topic pancha pranas prana apanam vyana samana budana all these five pranas 
the description at the last uh, um, but one paragraph the conclusion is given about this prana so adhyarupa prakriya a method of uh, superimposition of creation for the purpose of teaching teaching purpose to make the seeker to understand the creation first later after a length of time scriptures talk about apavada there is no real creation it is only an appearance that comes very much later now we are in adhyarupa srishti prakriya in that uh, sukshma shariram we are seeing in that pranamaya kosha that which connects to pancha koshas la pranamaya kosha that prana is one of the component of sukshma shariram in that uh, prana five divisions are made due, uh, connected to their functions functional division prana functional division is done in naga kurma devadatt dhananjaya these are not required nishala dasa says even though some of the acharyas are talk about this uh, upapranas that is not very much required that's why it is not yuktam he said why they are included in this five pranas only there are included in the five pranas they need not be separately explained in any of our acharyas prakarana granthas also they are not mentioned and this prana is vikshepa roopah prana how is how much important prana is if you say swami ji gives one example um, prana is very very important just like um, prana is not uh, very much focused it is not taken as karana prana is not taken as karana panch gnani indriyani are karanams instruments and panch karma indriyani are also instruments karanani anta karanam is also of course inner instrument whereas prana is not having that uh, title called karanam it does not have a karana status instrument status then what is the status of prana jnana indriyani karma indriyani anta karanam only has got karana status does it mean this prana is not important for that it is like uh, in olden days uh, ladies used to work at home only gents male person in the family go to the job they work outside ladies used to work at the home only household duties those days that means uh, uh, she is not uh, going outside for any job nowadays people are going ladies are going outside those days uh, they used to take care of the family how much important the male person working at outside much more importance they used to give to that lady at home because she is taking care of the entire house and taking care of everyone's uh, welfare in the family that's why she is very very important even though she is not a earning member if uh, house is there they used to give the title to the house name bhavanam prashanti bhavanam like that bhavanam means uh, that bha if you remove it is uh, known as vanam bha bhavanam is a house bhavanam is a house in which a housekeeper householder is there woman in the house is like a bha letter bha word if you remove it is like a vanam it is not a house it is not a home 
So bhavanam bha is very important. Like that, uh, in this whole sukshma sharira bhavanam, who is a bhakara? Bha, it is an analogy. Swamiji beautifully presents. Bha, Swamiji means paramarthananda. Swamiji, this analogy he gives. Bha, in the bhavanam, prana is like a bha. Making the pancha jnani indriyani, pancha karma indriyani, manasu, buddhi, chitta, ahankara to function, prana is the source. If you remove prana, it is like a vanam. And sense organs cannot function, uh, mind cannot function if prana is not there. Even though it is not having a karana status, instrument status, we should not look down upon prana. That is the idea. Skincha prana. So prancha prana nanam eva sukshma sarire grahanam yuktam. Pancha pranas, if you take enough, Naga Kurma, Devadatta, they are not separately mentioned. This, therefore, Pranaha Vikshepa Rupaha. Rupaha. Vikshepa means there are two meanings, negative meaning and positive meaning. Negative meaning is always we say Vikshepa means uh, uh, distraction. Uh, um, taking out uh, or superimposition also we say. That is a negative meaning of vikshepa. One meaning for vikshepa. What is that meaning? Vikshepa means uh, superimposition. Superimposition is called vikshepa or distraction, deviation. Like that vikshepa in the negative sense. But when it comes to Ishwara used the Vikshepa Shakti to create this universe. It is not a distraction or a superimposition, but it is creation. Vikshepa, when used for Ishwara, Vikshepa Shakti, it is positive meaning. What is the positive meaning? Ishwara is the creator of this universe through his Vikshepa Shakti positive meaning. Similarly, here also prana vikshepa rupaha means dynamic in its activity. In positive meaning only you have to take. Prana is a power. Vikshepa rupaha means a power or dimension. Sorry, dynamic uh, come from rajoguna. Dynamism our dynamic nature comes from Rajoguna. Prana is a dynamic, prana is vital power. Therefore, Vikshepa Rupaha because Rajoguna Sya Vikshepaha Swabhavaha. How this Vikshepa dynamism power comes to prana? Because it is born out of Rajoguna of each Panchabhuta. Samashti Panchabhuta Rajoguna. Utpatti tasmat panchabhuta rajogunam shad. Remember, from the rajoguna of panchabhutas. How panchabhutas have got rajoguna? They are born out of maya. Maya is trigunatmika. Maya has got rajoguna. Therefore, they all have got rajoguna. From that rajoguna of all the five elements, Akasha, Vayu, Agni, Apaha, Prithvi, all of their Rajoguna put together Prana Utpatti Yuktameva Kathanam. Explaining this Prana born out of Vikshepa because of Rajoguna of all five elements, it is proper to explain in the Sukshma Sarira context. With this, Sukshma um, Sharira, one component prana topic is over. This is discussed in um, Brahma Sutra also we saw a lot of explanation about uh, prana. In the Srishti Prakriya, prana role is very very important. If prana, uh, even though we are going to negate later apavada, 
acharyas or in the granthas never ignore in explaining them elaborately they talk uh, way to take all this when uh, any how we are going to negate na no even though we are negating while explaining adhyaropa srishti prakriya shastra has to give all the details as many details so much clarity comes for you that is why yuktam eva pranasya utpatti kathanam because we are talking about the sukshma sharira utpatti prana is one of the component of sukshma shariram therefore we have to discuss about prana and it their five divisions and their functions all are we are not talking anywhere outside in your body digestion circulation and breathing all these are happening because of prana only your own body you are studying now this is like a anatomy physiology like uh, about your own body functions now we are going to see the next topic another component of sukshma shariram that is jnana indriyanam karma indriyanam cha utpatti i will read this portion ज्ञानेन्द्रियाणाम कर्मेन्द्रियाणाम चोत्पत्ति अपंचीकृत एकूतसुणाशात पंच ज्ञानेन्द्रियाचिताकूतरजोगुणाशाकर्मेन्द्रिय रचित आकाशस्य आकाशस्तुणाशात्ोत्र वायो सत्गुणाशात्क तेजस सत्गुणाशात् नेत्र जल से सत्गुणाशात्सनाम पृथिव्या सत्गुणाशात् घ्राण चाते पंचेन्द्रिया ज्ञान से साधना अतो ज्ञानेन्द्रियाुच्यंते ज्ञान सत्गुणाशाजाते अतचैता पंचेन्द्रिया भूता सत्गुणाशात्पन्न उच्य फस्ट ज्ञानेन्द्रिय वर्णन अपंचीकृत एकूत स्टील वी आर् इन अपंचीकृत पंचीकरण कम्स ओनली वेन यू कम टू द टॉपिक ऑफ स्थूल शरीर प्रपंच सृष्टि ग्रॉस यूनिवर्स ग्रॉस बॉडी कम्स ओनली वेन इट इस पंचीकरण टेक्स प्लेस ग्रॉसिफिकेशन टेक्स प्लेस दिस ग्रॉसिफिकेशन बिफोर दैट अपंचीकृत अनग्रॉसिफाइड अपंचीकृत मीन अनग्रॉसिफाइड एक भूता वन वन पंचभूत सत्गुणाशा आकाश सत्गुण फ्रम वायु सत्गुण फ्रम ज अग्निसत्गुण फ्रम जल सत्गुण पृथ्वी सत्गुण एकगुणाशा पंच ज्ञानेन्द्रिया रचिता फाइव सेन्स आर्गास् ऑफ नॉलेज इंद्रिया मीन सेन्स आर्गास् ज्ञान मीन नॉलेज पंच मीन फाइव फाइव सेन्स आर्गास् ऑफ नॉलेज रचिता मीन क्रियेटेड एकूत रजोगुणाशा फ्रम वन वन रजो वन वन एलिमेंट अंड इट्स रजोगुण फ्रम इट्स रजोगुण मीन्स आकाश रजोगुण वायो रजोगुण दग्निजोगुण जल से रजोगुण पृथिव्या रजोगुण एक कर्मेन्द्रिय रचित वन वन कर्म इंद्रिय कर्म इंद्रिय मीन्स य वन वन सेन्स आर्गा ऑफ एक्शन 
karma word also has got two meanings in two contexts like vikshepa as i said karma also in this context karma means can be action also karma can be prarabdha karma phalam uh, sanchita karma phalam whenever we say prarabdha sanchita and agami we have to take it as karma phalam prarabdha karma phalam sanchita karma phalam agami karma phalam so the positive meaning negative meaning is not here karma is taken as karma indriyani action sense organs of action here not karma phalam when we talk about prarabdha karma it is not action there is prarabdha karma phalam this difference we have to remember what is the difference when we say normally karma it is an action karma indriyani in that context karma means action sense organs of action those sense organs which are meant to, to do action when we talk about prarabdha karma sanchita karma it is prarabdha karma phalam it is not action it is karma phalam sanchita karma phalam agami karma phalam so karma means phalam one meaning karma means action another meaning so here karma indriyam rachitam means that sense organ of action rachitam then now five panch gnana indriyani he is discussing akashasya sattva gunam shat from the sattva guna of akasha shrotram sambhutam tattva bodha those who are not uh, done sattva bodha uh, you can enjoy now tattva bodha sattva gunam sha shrotram shrotram means the invisible indriyam uh, hearing power we have to say hearing power shrotram means not this ear this is golakam this is golakam about where the sense organ of hearing is uh, residing inside that's why invisible indriyam shrotram then vayu from vayu and its sattva guna tvak organ of touch is worn organ of touch tvak means a touch sattva guna amshat from sattva guna tejasaha from tejas from agni tejasaha sattva guna amshat netram eyes are born eyes are means seeing power tvak charma means skin means touching power they all are invisible seeing power is also invisible even though your eyes are functioning looking um, seeing outside doctor cannot say whether your eyes are functioning or not properly you only can say i doctor if you go to i doctor he keeps the alphabetic letters in front of you read na big letter small letter smallest letters like that so the doctor cannot say how much is your vision is by seeing your eyes because the seeing power in your eyes is invisible it is invisible therefore it is a invisible power indriyam netra indriyam then jalasya from waters sattva guna rasana the tasting organ power organ means here indriyam power power of tasting tasting power morning to till night how many padarthas we are drinking and swallowing eating munching crushing hmm? lot of taste and the tongue a small tongue <laughs> it has got lot of uh, power the tongue taste even uh, the birds on the tongue one one side one one taste it uh, knows it seems hmm? if the taste is not there imagine suppose you take rasgulla 
you don't know that sweetness uh, how is it uh, how do you feel uh, sweetness uh, mango juice uh, the taste uh, any fruit whenever you take another fruit it has got its own taste what a great wonder is happening on your tongue you see hmm? none of us care for the tongue while eating we enjoy that much only just to think a while how this beautiful small tongue how nicely it is giving differentiating each taste different differently even nose also you see the grana indriyam similarly and rasana then prudhivyaha satta gunam shat granam smelling power smelling power jayate jayata is there because of sandhi rule because it's followed by oval a that is why it is jayata is given but when you read jayate you have to read it is not a printing mistake okay it is a grammar rule sattva gunam shat ghranam the smelling power smelling argon that smelling power or argon um, is um, how many different different smells it takes otherwise we do not know anything which is good or bad every bad smell also you take uh, the brain will be affected like in bhopal gas uh, leak uh, how many people died because of uh, that smell so granam also must be correct uh, smell only you have to take otherwise uh, uh, in um, bore well somewhere people will go the scavengers who go to drainage they get bad uh, gases and they will die also because of bad gases that's why nose is such a powerful sense organ nose is golakam in that uh, smelling power is uh, indriyam all indriyams are invisible why invisible they are born out of uh, subtle element sukshma bhuta sukshma bhutas are invisible because they are sukshmam they are subtle therefore their sense organs are also subtle invisible you are seeing power smelling power touching power all are invisible every power is invisible etani panchendriyani all these five sense organs gnanasya sadhanani they are the means to get gnanam gnana utpatti what gnanam shabda gnanam rupa gnanam um, sparsha gnanam rasa gnanam gandha gnanam knowledge about smell knowledge about uh, sound knowledge about forms everything that that indriyam is uh, taking the um, its um, what its a cause guna shrotra indriyam born out of akasha so therefore it is corresponding to akasha shabda guna shrotra indriyam has got the capacity to listen the sound sound belongs to akasha similarly eyes agni tejaha the forms agni has got roopam eyes also ha- can see the roopam vayu sparsha tak born out of vayu it has uh, um, got the power to know the touch because its uh, uh, fathers means karana guna karana gunah karye anuvartante akasha guna shrotrendri vartante then vayu guna tagindri vartante prakriti bhavati no? it manifest that is the idea panchendriyani gnanasya sadhanani here gnanam means all shabda sparsha roopa rasa gandha gnanam sadhanani they are the means atah therefore gnana indriyani uchyante therefore they are called as gnana indriyani since they give gnanam gnanam of their corresponding uh, panchabhuta from whom they are born 
they are born from whom which pancham bhuta that bhuta guna they express each sense organ express gnanam sattva sattva gunat jayate so knowledge is born out of sattva guna that is why they are all born out of sattva amsha of pancha gunas five bhutas sattvat jayate ataha cha eva etani panchendriyani because of this reason alone gnana janaka indriyani madhyama pada lopa samasa ज्ञानेन्द्रियाणी ज्ञानजनक इंद्रियाणी ज्ञानेन्द्रियाणी संबंधे षष्टि ज्ञान से साधना षष्टि संबंधे षष्टि ज्ञान से साधना ज्ञान साधना पंचेन्द्रिया भूता सत्वगुणादुत्पन्न सिंस दे आर् बॉर्न औट आफ सत्वगुण सत्वगुणत्वेन उत्पन्न उच्यते देर आल बॉर्न औट आफ द पंच भूतास सत्वगुण नेक्स्ट लाइन श्रोत्रेन्द्रियकाश से गुण शब्द गृणाती तदाकाशस्ये सत्वगुणकार्यम् एवमेव यदिंद्रिय यूत गुण गृहाति तत् तूत सत्वगुण कार्य ज्ञेय दिस् इज वाट ई एक्सप्लेन आलरे ज्ञानेन्द्रिय आकाश से दिस् सारी श्रोत्रेन्द्रिय दियरिंग पवर् हियरिंग आर्गा आकाशगुण शब्द गृहती गृहाति This uh, hearing organ takes the akasha guna. Grinhati means it takes. It hears. Tada akasha sya sattva guna karyam because it is the karyam. Who srotra indriyam is the karyam product. Therefore, it is taking the uh, sabda guna of wits. cause what is the cause akasha akasha is the cause srotra indriyam is the product karyam therefore karyam takes the karana guna karana gunah karye anuvartante the cause uh, characteristics in hears in products एवं एव इन दि सेम मैनर यू हाव टू सप्लै टू आल अदर फोर आलो ऐ हव आलि मेन्शन एवं सेम मैनर यदिंद्रिय यूत गुण गृहाति हुच इंद्रिया हुच से आर्गा टेक्स दि हुच गुण आफ हुच पंचभूता तत् तस्ूत दट दट गुण आफ दट पंचभूता सत्वगुण कार्य ज्ञेय दट ईज सत्वगुण कार्यम दट जनरल रूल यंद इंद्रियम यंद भूत भूत गुणतीो अंद इंद्रियम अंद गुणते तमिल इंद्रियम एंद भूत उदो अंद्रियम अंद भूत गुण गुणतोड़ वेपड़ेजक अद शब्द तेजक नोयिंग द सउंड नोयिंग द टेस्ट नोयिंग द स्मेल नोयिंग द फॉम लाइक दट सो अप टू हियर पंचज्ञानेन्द्रियाणि ओवर नौ नेक्स्ट फ्रम रजोगुण आफ आल फाइव से भूता कर्मेन्द्रिया कम्स औुट्स ज्ञानेन्द्रिया सर आल इनपुट्स एंट्री गेट्स एंट्री गेट्स औट्सइड शब्द दे गिव इन सैड औट्सइड स्मेल दे गिव इन सैड द नॉलेज लाइक दैट वेर एज कर्म इंद्रिया सर आल Exit gates. Uh, 
uh, I will read the second paragraph, page number 159. Akashasya rajogunam shat vak vayoho rajogunam shat panihim agnehe rajogunam shat padaha jalasya rajogunam shat upasthaha Prithivyaha Rajogunam Shat Gudam Cha Utpadyate Sri Ona Purushalingi Cha Vartamanam Vishayananda Lava Sadhana Mindriya Upastham It Yuchate Karmendriya Kriyochate Etani Panchendriyani Kriya Sadhana Kriya Sathanatvat Karmendriyam Pani Karmendriyani Tyavidhiyante Kriya Rajoguna Karyatvat Bhutanam Rajogunam Shat Karmendriyot Patihi Varnita Itham Sushma Srishti Srusma Srishtihi Nirupita studying about our own body sense organs function normally the whole world that means people are studying education means what mba m tech b tech bba mba so many studies are there education is there hmm? social study uh, science max computer everything they study except this now tell me the study of sthula sharira utpatti sukshma sharira utpatti are these not the subject to study tell me how one can consider vedanta is only for old people it's not for everyone how can we say now how can you say a person who is using sense organs to study computer physics, chemistry, etc, etc. He doesn't know how his eyes are born <coughs> or he or she doesn't know how his mind is working. <coughs> it is antahkarana. They do not know. Therefore, antahkarana we have already saw manasu, buddhi, chitta, ahankara, antahkarana. They are not studying. They study only uh, NIT, IIT, this course, that course, uh, MS degrees, foreign going, lot of degrees they earn. None of them they study in that study course. Uh, how their ears are born, eyes are born from Panchabhutas, what guna they are born. No. This is what Western education. Studying everything except who is studying about himself he is not studying. Now tell me how important this study is. For whom? Is it even a particular group of people? A particular age group? Tell me. This is the greatness of our Sanatana Dharma. This is the greatness of our education system in our Gurukulams. Along with uh, other sciences they used to teach this so intelligently all this uh, um, no angli anglicization that word is not there i am telling okay angli angla means english all this english education made a person outwards not inwards that is why every person who ever study any degree, two degrees or three degrees, four, five degrees, anywhere in any country, uh, he is ignorant only. According to our culture, a person who never study about his own body, his own mind, even you go to medicine also, medical field also, they don't talk about antakkarana pathology, anatomy in uh, medical field also, they dissect the body. Science, they don't accept mind. 
they accept only brain they don't accept to mind what for that study which mind they are using buddhi they are using they don't want to study about that buddhi the mind because for according to science there is no mind according to science there is no mind how they can study they study about only brain all diseases come because of brain malfunction some chemicals uh, deficiency sodium deficiency magnesium deficiency therefore provide those chemicals in the form of tablets this is what medical field science even you study in, in medical science they don't study in this manner because they never accept a mind that is why mind belongs to sukshma shariram jeeva travel after death that jeeva shraddha karma tarpana mandal they don't believe modern people who study medical science or any other science they don't care for the shraddha tarpana etc ritual why to do all are useless they say why they don't accept mind why mind is not discussed in any course any subject what they are studying outside except in vedanta how can they believe in rituals how can they believe in atma in mind itself they don't accept what to talk of atma that is what uh, modern education modern education the parents <coughs> you you all can come under that category only you are all interested in making your children to study ms mbbs advocate doctor or engineer this only you are desirous of you are craving for if you make your children anatma vidyas run after run after you have run ran all behind them and you made them to run 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 where they went what for they have studied think think for a while sit and close your eyes and think what a blunder a mistake committed by us generations generations the moment um, the invaders came to this country they forced their education on our education and they have given their whole methodology and we became slaves to that education and we thinks we are so great in studying that till now till now till today our children are what they are craving for that education which education is totally uh, blank in this subject they are not able to study and uh, thinking that why my children are like this my children are like this because you didn't study you have never uh, taught to children the importance of this subject till still today even for few generations also children are in enamored by the western education only that is why useless education it is useless education people cannot recognize that much easily cannot recognize life is lost that sal mahati vinashtihi it is a great himalayan blunder you howl mystery is such a great treasure of knowledge to recognize that also people do not have capacity now what they have missed also they are not able to recognize even they recognize also they are not able to communicate to their grandchildren children etc not they are not able to communicate it's not easy once the gap comes generation gap comes that's all that life is that's all they cannot come that much easily very very difficult you cannot convince that's why in education itself from childhood itself this education has to be imbibed the more the western education you are enamored for that money dollars and uh, foreign certificates education where is the value for this education 
where is the value for this education but western countries are recognizing the value of our uh, spiritual science vedanta and our classical music everything and after seeing them our people are learning now everything has to come from western platform whenever party grandmother grandfather says they never care if a westerner says westerner study westerner sings westerner a person do dance that time these people will recognize is it not shame i am not able to recognize the value and somebody shows my culture my education from western platform then i recognize means how foolish i am am i not foolish am i not unintelligent therefore we are studying here vedanta vichara sagara what is vedanta what is tattva bodha what is vichara sagara we are studying about our own sense organs how they are born how they are functioning this is about own, your own body mind complex without this whatever you study is nothing nothing that is let's say after some time earning so much of money constructing a house a car everything is there what life meaningless purposeless they feel in that western education they never feel complete fullness in that education not possible in this education alone completeness fullness purnatvam is possible because we have forgotten the glory of our culture that say <laughs> i should not use that word one way we are all doing crime who ever forget their culture the value the treasure of knowledge that which is given by our ancestors from upanishads who ever forgive and live a different lifestyle he is a criminal really speaking is a criminal how can you swami in such a word ha huh? na i am not using mahati vinasti hi upanya upanishad says it is a great loss mahati vinasti him superlative degree it is a great loss how can you say great loss upanishad says atma hana <laughs> bhagwan says krishna upanishad says atma hana he is doing suicide to himself what a word upanishad is using he is suiciding himself atma hana because not knowing the value of this education that the soul life is over by that time you recognize between 15 and 25 only you study 30 maximum afterwards what you can study you cannot therefore don't think this is only some vedanta we are studying which is not uh, for all people don't think vedanta is for all people for human beings whether they are qualified or not one day or other every human being must study vedanta no other way if to be a complete person okay some diversion i have taken hmm? i could not resist myself let us come to the topic akashasya rajogunamshat from akasha i hope i have read this ah i have read the whole paragraph from akasha you know rajoguna is there from that vagindriyam comes speech organ vagindriyam sambhutam then vayoh from vayus rajoguna pani sense organ of hand I mean that means a pani vak means sense organ of speech sense organ of grahanam here pani means uh, uh, that which is holding the things pani agnehi rajomsha gunamshat padaha locomotion <laughs> mobile ishvara that padaha means um, gamana kriya that he is going to say 
Jalasya Rajoguna, from waters Rajoguna, Amshat, from that part Upasthaha, Upasthaha means genital organ, organ of procreation, is born. Then Prithivyaha, Earth Rajoguna, from that uh, um, excretory organ, Gudam Sambhut Utpadyante, means excretory organs. Like this five sense organs of action. Why they are called sense organs of, of action, karma indriyani, he says, karma iti kriya uchyate, karma means kriya here, not karma phalam. <laughs> Nishchana Dasa says, don't take karma phalam, prarabdha karma, sanchita karma, agami karma. Here karma means kriya, action. Natu Phalam Etani Pancha Indriyani These are all Pancha Indriyas Kriya Sadhanatvat They are means of action Sadhana means means Kriya action They are means of action Therefore Karma Indriyani Abhidhiyanti They are called as Karma Indriyas Karma is responsible for the function of the function or obstruction of the indriyam sometimes uh, it may obstruct and function how it obstruct uh, what's that little point here this indriyams hearing power seeing power lifting power walking power why sometimes they don't function some people cannot walk some people cannot lift, some people cannot talk, some people cannot see, some people cannot hear. Why? Because of their karma phalam. That karma phalam is different. Papa, karma phalam, they are not able to hear, some people are not able to walk, some people are not able to listen. Because of karma phalam, prarabdha, karma phalam, bad karma. That is why that karma indriyas won't work. Why? They are all karma indriyas because of bad karma, that karma phalam, this karma indriyas are obstructed. So, sense organs of action to function or not to function, who in whose hands? My previous karma hands. Karma phala data ishvara. Ishvara is the karma phala data preceding deity of making this, uh, giving this karma phalam. Kartra ragnaya prapyate phalam karma kimparam karma tajjadam. Karma is jadam. Sanchita karma, agami karma, prarabdha karma, they are jadam. Karma phalam is jadam by itself. That phalam is given by Bhagavan, therefore he is the preceding deity of the karma phalam. This is an aside point, it is not said here. That is why karma iti kriya vuchyante, that he said. Yetani panchendriyani kriyani. In between, uh, upasthendriyam is explained here. Why it is called upasthendriyam? Uh, upastha indriyam is that uh, when that uh, stri and purusha, when the conjugal uh, union takes place, uh, stri yono purusha lingi chavartamano, the conjugal relation union takes place, there is an ananda, very minute ananda lava sadhanam indriyam upastham. Indriyam Upastha Indriya Muchyate, it is called Upastha Indriya. Upa, nearby, Stha means remaining, staying. Because of that, uh, uh, Stri and Purusha Indriyams come together, union, that is called Upastha. Why it is called Upastha Indriya? Because of that union, there is an iota of Ananda, Vishyananda. Vishayananda lava sadhanam, that is why it is called upasthahan. Fleeting ananda. 
लवा मीनस फ्लीटिंग आनंद उपसमीपे तिष्ठती उपस्थ उपसमीपे तिष्ठती द इन इनविजिबल पार्ट ऑफ स्त्री एंड पुरुष इंद्रिय उपस्थ इंद्रिय बिकॉज ऑल आर सूक्ष्म एलिमेंट दट्स वै दे आर आल स्टिल सूक्ष्म ओनली क्रिया कर्म इति क्रिया उच्यते एतानि पंच इंद्रियाणि क्रिया साधनानि कर्म इंद्रियाणि क्रियायाः रजोगुण कार्यत्वात् भूतानां क्रिया इज ऑलवेज एक्टिव एक्टिविटी कम्स इन रजोगुण बिकॉज दे आर बॉर्न आउट ऑफ रजोगुण ऑफ फाइव एलिमेंट्स रजोगुणांशात् कर्मेन्द्रिय उत्पत्ति वर्णित दट ईज वै सिंस दे आर् आक्टिव हैंड्स आर् आक्टिव स्पीच इज आक्टिव लेग्स आर् आक्टिव आल इंद्रियम्स आर् आक्टिव कर्म इंद्रिया वै दे आर् बॉर्न औट आफ रजोगुण दट वै दे आर् आक्टिव रजोगुण एंड प्राण आल सारी कर्म इंद्रिया एंड प्राण फै प्राण फ्रम रजोगुण आफ फै एलिमेंट्स अंतकरण एंड पंच ज्ञानेन्द्रिया बॉर्न औट आफ सत्वगुण ऑफ फाइव एलिमेंट्स सो दे आर वन ग्रूप दे दीज आर वन ग्रूप अंडर्स्टैंड पंच कर्मेन्द्रिया पंच प्राण बॉर्न औट आफ रजोगुण ऑफ फाइव सटिल एलिमेंट्स पंच ज्ञानेन्द्रिया अंतकरण बॉर्न औट आफ सत्वगुण ऑफ फाइव एलिमेंट्स दट ईज दट वे प्राण इज आलवेज वर्किंग फंक्शनिंग विथ दिस पंच कर्मेन्द्रिया आलो सूक्ष्म सृष्टि निरूपिता सूक्ष्म सृष्टि मीन वाट सटिल क्रियेशन सटिल यूनिवर्स पंचभूता एंड सटिल एलिमेंट्स एंड सटिल से आर्गान मैंड अंतकरण नईटीन आर्गा प्रेजेंटेड नेक्स्ट टॉपिक टू सेवेन्टी सूक्ष्म सृष्टि उपसंहार अपंचीकृत भूता तत्कार्य भूताकरण प्राण कर्मेन्द्रिया सूक्ष्म सृष्टि कीर्त्य वाट इज सूक्ष्म सृष्टि सूक्ष्म सृष्टि सटी क्रियेशन इज नथिंग बट अपंचीकृत भूता अनग्रॉसीफाइड फाइव एलिमेंट्स तन्मात्र विकन गाड तत् तत् तत्त्र तन्मात्र दट दट एलिमेंट ओनली दे आर् नाट मिक्सड अप दे आर् नाट मिक्सड अप तत्त्र तन्मात्र तन्मात्र इज अनदर नेम फॉर सटिल एलिमेंट्स अपंचीकृत सूक्ष्म तत्कार्यभूत अंतकरण देर कार्य इज वाट अंतकरण प्लस प्राण प्लस समष्टि प्राण ओके समि प्राण सम मन एंड एंड व्यष्टि प्राण समि एंड व्यष्टि एंड ज्ञान इंद्रिया कर्म इंद्रिया ऑल ऑफ दम सूक्ष्म सृष्टि इति कीर्त्य एदर इलेवन से पंच ज्ञान इंद्रिया पंच कर्म इंद्रिया अदि प्राण सर नाट टेकन इन टू कर्ण टेन प्लस टेन प्लस वन एकादश दे टेक देर इज ए बिग डिस्कशन अबउट टू टेक एकादश आर पंचदश आर नईटीन आर सेवेंटीन फैकलटी दट्स डिस्कशन कीर्त्य सूक्ष्म सृष्टि विषयक ज्ञान दिस् सूक्ष्म सृष्टि विषयक ज्ञान न इंद्रियपद्य दिस् ऐ वि टेक् इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास ओं पूर्णमद पूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुद्चते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम